Uh, questions? Yeah, Mr. Chair, uh, if I may. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'd like to ask Jewel if she would uh, share with us. I understand there's some issues pertaining to Creative Pinellas and the authority of our Board of County Commissioners to appoint someone to that. I know why Commissioner Seal was there for so long, but would you elaborate, sure. please? We, uh, I have asked. Um, we have been trying to do some digging without necessarily calling up Creative Pinellas and asking for their formation documents, which we've done at this point, and I do have somebody looking into it. Um, we've been unable to determine that, and what I'll call it is a responsibility of this board to appoint someone to that board. We have been unable to find anything that would create a responsibility of this board to officially appoint someone. Um, you know, not to some, say that somebody couldn't necessarily go on to that board. It could create a conflict because of some of the, uh, because of the relationship that we have with them. I would note that Commissioner Seal served in an ex officio capacity. She was not a voting member of that board and, and for that very reason. So um, unless we tell you otherwise, I do not believe that this board has an obligation or responsibility to appoint somebody to that board. And, and, and that is the same for some nonprofits out there that we have been taking a look at. And over the years, I would just note, I shouldn't say over the years, over the past couple of years, as the time comes for you all to make your appointments to various boards, there have been some that we have flagged and taken a second look at for this very reason. So this is not unique to Creative Pinellas. We have looked at a number of boards over the last couple of years and have actually determined that there was not a need or obligation to appoint to some. So we're going to continue probably taking a look through some of these. Absolutely. Again, not unique to uh, Creative Pinellas, but just something that we're trying to get a little bit better, uh, a little bit better hold on. Thank you so much, and I have a few to talk to you about as Certainly. well now that a decision has been made, and this is a question for you, Barry. <coughs> Please excuse me. Um, creative Pinellas in our makeup, don't they now, aren't they now under the uh, Visit St. Pete Clearwater? No? No. There, there are obviously a portion of their dollars are well, from them to, from a right? funding standpoint yeah yes, that's they, what I mean well we, we certainly do we we provide funding from creative Pinellas general fund and transportation trust fund um, I believe that's correct yes and so it's a combination of all of those okay but otherwise they are like any other nonprofit in the community <coughs> um, and we've had several over the years where when we went back to look and say why are we making an appointment to this board and it's like just because we've been doing it since 1981. <laughs> and so. Um, and, and one thing I would add is that, yeah. and, and it, this is another thing that, that my staff is looking into. I do believe that one thing that makes them somewhat unique is I do believe they're designated as the local arts that agency. That's why they get the license um, tag money. Yes. Doesn't mean with the, that, that doesn't create an obligation for us to appoint to their board. It just does make them a little bit different Correct. maybe than some other nonprofits. Um, once upon a time, that local arts agency used to be housed within a county department. I don't think it was CBB. I think it might have been the Parks Department it was. back when. Yeah. Um, but Creative Pinellas is not an arm of county government, they do, but they do receive funding from us. Thank you. Mr. Chair. Commissioner Flowers. I just wanted to um, give a refresher or reminder. I shared an email to uh, um, Commissioner Justice. Um, and Courtney about um, the JDI committee. I had received an email maybe three or four months ago from the Department of Juvenile Justice because I've served on that since its formation. Um, and I received an email um, and I co chair it along with Judge Patrice Moore. And we received an email saying that the JDI committee would no longer exist and that they would be looking at reconfiguring that committee because the way that different counties were implementing uh, the program was not consistent um, and that they would let us know when they would uh, reconstitute uh, the makeup of that program. So I double checked on yesterday just to make sure that I did not miss an email or something. And um, at this point, there has been no reconstitution. There's been no reconfiguration. We've not met in months. So I just want, I noticed that there was an appointment to that committee and I just wanted to share that no committee right now is meeting and we've not received anything from Tallahassee as it relates to how it will look going forward and what the process will be for appointing to that Good committee. To know. Okay. Thank you. And as you get your appointments and assignments, 
um, I, I was you'll have some professional staff that will contact you from that organization. I haven't even heard it. She so. was saying she was curious.